Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another trailer park story time. I know I haven't done these in a, like a week or two, maybe three weeks. I don't know, but just, just, my experiences in this trailer park are kind of crazy, right? Like, like I got some crazy stuff going on. Okay, so before we start this one, you need to know that this trailer park is like the ghetto of like where we used to live, right? Like, like the poor people who couldn't afford nowhere else to live moved in these trailer parks. Like, okay, so let's just say the neighborhood wasn't that great. But it was a community, I guess, and I liked it, and I had friends there, and it was awesome, and now I have no one and nothing, but it, 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 besides that, let's just say it was like a kind of like, there, there's families and friends, and it's like a whole community. Everybody knew a little bit about someone in the trailer park, right? Like, everybody knew something about someone. Most people, unless you're like newer, but okay, basically. So, okay. And if anything ever happened in this trailer park, like the entire trailer park knew about, like anything, like anything bad, like someone got broken into, dog jumps through a window, you know, because that's happened, <laughs> happened in the trailer park. Ow, I just hit my microphone off everything. Thing. Um, anyways, so, this time we're gonna be talking about, as you can tell from the title, about this guy who got drunk one night and drove his freaking, uh, what was it, a firebird off the, off the freaking side of the hill, cause like, really, like, literally, like, and this is like right above my trailer, cause like, my trailer's like, down like this big valley hill, and then like, there's like this big hill above it, and like, this hill's like a pure, sure drop off, kind of like, and he just drove right off it, right, and then, and then, okay, so let's just get in this, right, so this guy, I never know, I don't know who this guy is, I still don't know who this guy is to this day, but anyways, every time I would walk to school, right, I would walk to the bus stop or to school, I think it was school still, cause I still walked to school, cause like the elementary school's above us, and I think I was in, yeah, he was like, I was walking to the bus. Anyway, I think it was like, for a long time he lived there, right? Never bothered no one, never done nothing. He seemed like a cool guy, never talked to no one. He used to decorate House of Halloween, used to hang a pumpkin guy of his tree, which is pretty freaky, but it was cool. But he always had this really nice car, right? In his in his par front yard. Like, always had this nice car. Like, it was a freaking Firebird, right? Nice, nice, nice car. It has like a big bird on, like Firebird on the top of it, and it was a really nice car. I forget, I think it's a Trans Am. Pretty sure that's what it was. A Trans Am, but it looked, yeah, but it was... It was, it was a really nice car, like, probably the nicest car to try to park, right? Like, expensive. He paid pretty penny for it, right? So, uh, we, we always talked about this car all the time. Like, every time. It would just, it would just never move. I don't think this guy ever drove it, or, ever. Or he just, yeah. I literally don't think this guy ever drove it. But anyway, so one night, he gets drunk, right? And he drives his car. And he takes the car and he parks it there in the hill, right? But he forgets to put it in park or something, right? And it just flies off the hill. Like, it just drifts and falls off the hill, right? So what do you, what would you do in this situation, right? What would you, what would a normal person do in this situation? A normal person would call a tow truck and be like, yo, hey, come tow me out of the hill. I need help. My car fell over the hill. I did, I did something stupid, you know, help me, help me. No, no, no. This guy, this guy literally goes to his job. I think it was his job or someone he knew. Stole a bulldozer, right? Stole a bulldozer. A, like, two-ton bulldozer, like, an actual, like, big bulldozer, not, like, a little tiny one that, like, people own, like, a big, like, industrial-sized bulldozer, like, a big one, right? Drove it to the trailer park, it must have been close by, he, he, he drove it to the trailer park, and tried to pull it up over his car over the hill with this, right? Because, I don't know what the heck he's thinking, he's drunk, and he, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, so... He drove this car over the freaking hill. Uh, wait, okay, he, he tried to get his car back over the hill by attaching chains to it and pulling it up with, like, the bulldozer, right? So, that didn't happen, right? And and then, in the process, he put it over the hill, too, right? He put a bulldozer over the hill on top of uh, Why? Why? <laughs> uh, I think he did finally get up, and it was, like, his car was, like, sideways up on, like, his door, sideways, and it was, like, yo... And he's like, yeah. And then it, I'm pretty sure someone finally called the cops on this guy. Like, ex explain to me how cops are not immediately alert to some drunk guy driving a bulldozer on the road. Like, someone somewhere had to realize that this guy had to be like, yo, what? We're missing a bulldozer. Wasn't there three there an hour ago? No, no, it's fine. And this was like two o'clock in the morning, right? So I woke up. I remember waking up and seeing this guy doing this. And someone finally called the cops on him. They, like, I, I'm pretty sure he went to jail for a long time, because he was never there again for a long time. I'm pretty sure he got, went to jail and got kicked out. And this guy's trailer was like, no one ever lived there ever again. But yeah, this is just ridiculous. So, like, he literally drove, he was drunk, stole a bulldozer, tried to take his expensive car back up over a hill that he just knocked over by accident. Like, why wouldn't you just call the cops or call some like a tow truck? Hey, tow truck, I need some help. Help me lift my car up over the hill. I did something stupid. No, no. He, his drunk mind was like, yo, let's go and get a bulldozer and pull it up and I'm pretty sure he did every, and I'm pretty sure he messed his car forever like that car is never coming back and I'm pretty sure yeah but I'm mistake he put the bulldozer on the hill too oh no was it the bulldozer or was it yeah I think it was the bulldozer and he drove the bulldozer on the main road like there's no way that he could get there's no way that he could get that bulldozer there without driving on the main road unless he stole it from like 
the trailer park uh, uh, owner because he has a couple bulldozers, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't his. But even if it was, he drove it a pretty good distance. Like, because, yeah, because he's like way back in the back in our trailer park. Like, why? Why? <laughs> Okay, this is Cal's short video, but I'm going to hear. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, peace!